Arguably, the most fun part of using Lumio is that there are so many games templates that you can just integrate as needed into your presentations or even just use as is for a short little recap of some fun facts you've been learning in class. So let's take a look at how to create a file from scratch, starting in my Google Drive this time, where I'm going to integrate a games template. So I can either go to New, More, and then down to Lumio by Smart, or I can click in my waffle up top and scroll all the way down to Lumio by Smart, and that will open up a new Lumio file for me. Okay, now I'm in my um, Lumio dashboard. I can say Add Activities, and I can add one of these activities inside an already created one if I prefer to do that. So today we're looking at the games-based. There are 12 different games-based activities, and it's very easy to see which each activity is because there's simply a little magnifying glass that will preview that activity for you. So let's take a few minutes now and we'll quickly look through each of the games templates together. The game show is a tool where you would work with a class of students and you would have one student come up to the front of the class and spin the wheel and then students get to answer the questions in teams. So that's the game show. Match them up is one of my favorites. That's if you're maybe matching a word to a definition or a, you know, an image to a word. Great for like a music note and a rhythm, like anything that goes together in pairs, you're going to use a match them up activity for. And in any of these activities, you have a choice of different themes. So for this one, there are eight different themes. I believe one of them is even just a customized one where you upload one of your own images in the background. The Monster Quiz is a little different. It says devices required. There are two themes. This shows you what is on the teacher screen as the students get automatically divided into teams and compete to see who can hatch their monster out of the egg first. This is super fun activity for students, a great way to rehearse information you've been teaching them. The speed up is um, you answer questions and you complete a racetrack. The team quiz is just like the monster quiz, but it uses a little bit more conservative images, so it's more suitable for the older students, possibly. There are two themes for that one. The flip out is like flashcards, and so you would just click on a card and the card will flip to the other side. There's seven themes for that one. Label reveal is useful if you're trying to practice like names of cities on a map or as here, parts of the cell. Memory match is basically a memory game where you match the cards. Rank order has you move items into or an order. So it could be a thermometer where you put the numbers in order on the thermometer or some kind of number line activity. Or it could be an opinion activity where students are ranking things that they see from most important to least important. So there are many ways, like prioritizing type of activities, many ways you can use rank order. One of my favorites, Super Sword is another one of my favorites. This is the equivalent, if you used to in the old days, use the vortex sort in, in Smart Notebook. Basically, you're sorting things into two categories and it'll get It'll be spat out of the category if you put it in the wrong spot. So great practice activities. You can quickly change the template with a single click. And the new one, the word search, is a new activity that they've just introduced in the last few months. So 12 themes available for that one. Now, my favorite, if you were only going to do, say, four of these, would be Super Sort, Match Em Up, Monster Quiz, hmm... Maybe game show, maybe label reveal. I'm going to show you the super sort. It's a great one to start because we are sorting things one way or another all the time. So I'll go select activity and you'll see how easy it is to create one of these activities. So if I have hot versus cold and this will be my answer key. So we'll say um, fire, sun, summer coffee. We'll call it a latte. And then cold, we'll have iced coffee, ice, snow, winter. Click next. These are the themes. 
So I will choose the pirate theme. And I can choose with the pirate theme whether I want my music to play or not. And my file has been added to my Google Drive, and I can just call this hot and cold. And finish editing. And so here it is, I'll say start. And this is what it looks like for the students. And you saw that I could also have previewed it, but I wanted to show you right there. Here's my pirates. We'll switch on the sound. So we'll put the ice is hot. No, it's not. Ice is cold. So that is how you play this game. Students will practice sorting things into two categories. If you wanted to change the theme, it's super easy to do. You would just go to your edit and click edit. Click next, and now I can have a garden theme. So each day I practice these concepts with my students, I could click preview and take a look, but I'll show you right in the actual. Now it looks like this. So there's my summer. So very quick to use, very quick to practice. Easy wins for students of all ages.